Good morning, everyone. We are rolling into week three of June. I had another big grocery haul this week. Uh, I spent quite a bit of money, as you can see. There's lots of meat products there. Uh, this seems a little weird for a supposed to be spending $150 a week budget. However, I believe spending the extra money now and doing up my freezer meals will save me not only time and money in the during the summer months, but also stress. So I'm gonna to try to do another big freezer meal uh, cook off tomorrow. I'd like to apologize for my sound last week. I know it was hard to hear. I didn't realize while I was editing it because I was using headphones. I think the microphone jack or the microphone is going in my phone. I just use my cell phone to film. So I went and got a cheap little microphone from Amazon. It was like 12 bucks. So hopefully that will improve my sound quality and it won't be so hard to hear. So I made three stops today. First, I stopped at Gateway. It's really nice, today's Wednesday. There was no line at Gateway. There was plenty of parking. However, they were unloading two trucks while I was there, so they didn't have everything in stock. I wasn't able to get quite as much produce as I intended, but that's okay. I'm totally fine with that. And I still was able to get some great deals. So I had the Jello. I'm gonna grab my receipt here actually as I talk. Okay, so my total spent at Gateway was 127.42 and I had total savings of 164.40. So the, they still had these Jellos on for 90, 97 cents. Uh, my kids have been taking one of these every single day to school. They really like them, especially it's quite warm uh, the last few days and they're preferring them over having yogurt. Yogurt just doesn't travel that well. So we also bought, I bought two of these things just to try. Sorry, that was just my alarm going off. Um, we had a new addition to the family and that is my alarm to give him a pee break. So this is a chocolate strawberry Cheerios. And these are mini cinnamon toast crunch. I actually plan on doing a Sunday bar for the last day of school. We've done it the last few years. So I thought these would be cute on top of a Sunday. The tomatoes, the tomatoes were $3.97 each for the four packs. So not a great deal, but I wasn't able to get tomatoes last week and I have none left and I have so much lettuce and spinach and Swiss chard coming out of the garden that I really want to do have salads and tomatoes are one of my favorite things to have in a salad. My second favorite thing is mushrooms and they didn't have any today. The strawberries were on for 97 cents. I only got three because that was all I was able to grab. They were starting to unload the truck while I was there, but I didn't want to wait around. I got another bag of carrots for $1.97. I'm going to do up some chicken pot pies. And we ate all our carrots that I bought last week. Most of them went into freezer meals, but then the couple I had left, the kids just ate for snacks. I got quite a few deli items. I got these salami ends again. One kilogram is $7.97. I didn't get the pastrami or the prosciutto. I didn't get the prosciutto again. Um, the kids preferred these. We've just been slicing them up and either making sandwiches out of them or uh, throwing them in salads. They had a three pound back bacon was $14.97, I believe. Yes, $14.97. I'm gonna slice this up and fry it for breakfast sandwiches. I got a salami to try. And this was, sorry, I'm trying to read my list at the same time. This was $3.97 as well. And then we haven't had sandwich meats in a while. So I got two of the turkey, they're the 500 gram bags and they were $6.97 each. These are also going to be for our Sunday bar. So I think these were all 97 cents each. I got two gummies and my one son loves licorice. And then they had these bags on again. I haven't even made a dent in the ones I bought last week. However, 97 cents, I'm just going to throw them in my crisper. And I was looking at the date so these are good until July 28th. The last, uh, the last salad dressing I had uh, from Gateway was a four liter and expired in February and I was still using it up until a few days ago. 
So those were 97 cents each. These uh, were on clearance. So they had them for $9.97, but they had them on today for $4.97. As they only have one kind left, I think it's cherry. I just thought it might be a fun thing to be able to throw in a beach bag for the summer. I bought bone-in chicken breasts because I'm gonna cook them all off and shred them for freezer meals. They were $3.99 a pound, $8.80 a kilogram. So about $12, $11, $12, $13 a package. So my total at Gateway was the $127.42. So then after Gateway, I headed over to Sobeys. I've been checking out Sobeys a lot more lately. They don't have the quantity offers that Superstore has. Like they don't have, like I can't go in there and buy 50 of something if it has a really good points offer. Because the personal points offers are usually limited to like two items. However, they often have smaller limits. And I don't know if this is a personal thing, but today I had extra points if I spent $40. If I spent $40, I got $8 back in points. So guess what I was going to do? They had these cereals on again, $5 each. And then when you bought two, you got 300 points. Makes these $3.50 a bag. So the kids really liked this kind best. Cinna Crunchies. So Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Uh, so I got two bags of those and then fruity, fruity hoops and marshmallow, magic omallows. Um, they had a coupon board in there as well. So I picked up a couple of these coupons for special case cereal. This is something that comes on sale all the time. So I'm going to keep an eye out for a good sale. I don't use coupons all that often because I find it, I don't find my brain <laughs> is able to remember the expiry dates and what's on sale where and the timing's off. That's why I tend to stick to the store points offers instead. However, this is a good coupon. A $2 coupon is a good coupon. And cereal is something we obviously go through quite a bit, especially this time of year. They had these big eight on for $5.29 and then a $1.20 deposit. So not the deal of the century, but they're 12 packs. And if you bought two, you got 200 points back. So that's like $2 back in points. I thought these also would be great well, I got the Rupert's for the kids. I thought those would be good for like, um, I like they have a screw top. So when we're outside at the fire or something, they're not spilling anything. And I got these, honestly, these are pineapple. I got these for us because we still have some vodka in the freezer. So I'm hoping these will be some mixed summer drinks. I checked out their clearance rack and they had these vermicelli on for 97, 99 cents. So I picked up two packs of those. And then the Johnsonville sausages were on for $4.99 for the 500 grams. 500 grams, the, what are they called? The smoked ones were 375 grams. So I got this, these kind. I'm going to use these for some freezer breakfast burritos. So three packages, and then you get um, $3 back in points. So that makes each package $3.99. So my total spent, so my total spent at... Sobeys was 51 52 and then I had that member points bonuses back as well. Discounts and specials, that must just be how they do their sale items. So I think the sausages were on sale. Anyway, um, and then I received $19 in points back on a $52 offer. So, or $52 bill, $19, $19 back in points. So the C points really add up, especially on small purchases. My last store was Superstore. So we were out of peanut butter this morning and I had a peanut butter offer for $3.99. So I mostly went in for peanut butter. I did have an offer for if you spent $125, you got 12,500 points back. But I wasn't necessarily going to spend that unless I found certain things in the store to make that up. So. First I went and got the peanut butter. Those were $3.99 each. And then they also had the blocks of cheese on for $3.99 each. So, and a limit four, so I got the four. I went over to the discount bin and they had oats on that were $2.99 and then 50% off, so $1.50. And then they had some of these cinnamon raisin English muffins were 250 and then 50% off 
and I'm going to put these in the kids' lunches. And because I was in there, we've been eating a lot of wraps lately. That um, salami over there diced up in a wrap with lettuce and tomato is fantastic. And the Caesar dressing, such a nice summer meal. So these were a little cheaper this time. They were two for $8.50, so not the $9.50 I spent last week. But some of those are going to be made into breakfast burritos. And I think I still have two packages of wraps left in the, in the cupboard from last week. So that's what I was going to spend. And I've gone through the whole store and I didn't see anything else. So that's all I was going to spend. However, something inside of me said, you know what? It's only, it was only 10 to 9 or so. And I do find they usually do markdowns around 8.30. And I didn't notice a whole lot as I walked through. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to go double check the rotisserie chickens because I had a offer on spend $25 on ready to eat. You got points back. So I went over to look at the rotisserie chickens, nothing on sale, but then I went over to the meat department and they were just marking stuff down. So I had two offers on fresh poultry. Now keep in mind, I had already spent $50 at Gateway. I'm on chicken breasts. However, these bone-in skin on chicken breasts are on for $2.49 this week. And then I had 50% off stickers. So I picked up all the packages they had, which was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages. And that works out to they're about a nine dollars each, $8.44, $9.27. So I had about $30 worth of chicken. However, it had an offer for points if I spent $50 on chicken. So I went over and they had these on for $10, which is nothing I would normally buy, but to make up the price for the $50, I picked up two of them. I made sure I got the biggest packages I could find. So these are almost two pounds. That one's a little bit less. So I ended up getting them for a five-ish dollars a pound. So obviously not a great deal. However, I got 8,000 points back for continuity spend on poultry. And then I had another personal spend of 3,000 points back for poultry as well. So I ended up spending $39 for all of this chicken. I'm actually going to add it up and I'll try to get you a per pound price because I don't know if that interests other people, but it does interest me. So then I went over to seafood and they have an in-store offer. I spent $25 on seafood. They had these whole rainbow trout, which I've never actually buy be bought before. But it seemed like an okay price per kilogram, $22 per kilogram. So what is that? Eight, $8.99 a pound maybe. And then 50% off. So I managed to get three, which brought me right to the $25 mark. What I think I'm going to do is try to can these. I mean, they're filleted. They're, they're whole. They have head on, but... They're gutted so i think i'm just going to try to can these and i'll try to do that today because i did do the canned salmon and that came out fantastic so my total spent at superstore was 125 oh sorry so then i did got out the old calculator and i was off by less than three dollars to get the continuity spend so i went over and i got two bottles of pepsi i know this seems like a lot of sugary drinks but it is so that's that's the life so these were $1.50 each or $1.49 each. So my total at Superstore came to $125.07. And then I received $29.70 back in points. All right, I got to do some calculations and tell you what my weekly spend was this week. So my total spent this week was $304.01. And then after receiving, after receiving $29.70 in points from Superstore, and $19 in points from Sobeys. My total out of pocket is $255.31. So tons and tons of meat this week. And we're going to do up some freezer meals tomorrow. I want to do a chicken pot pie. I want to do a chicken pasta dish. I want to do some breakfast sandwiches. I want to do up some pizza doughs. And I honestly think I'm even going to try to do this one more time before the kids are out of school. So I'll show you my little surprise that we got on Saturday for the kids. So this is our little new little lamb shark, our little puppy that we just got. 
we waited a year and this little guy came into our lives so that he's going to be making noises in all the videos now aren't you handsome all right i'm going to check out those chicken prices and i'll get back to you so i just did the math and if i factor in the points back for buying fresh poultry so that was a three thousand dollar three thousand points so that's three dollars personal offer and an eight dollar continuity spend offer that was in my app and weighting it for the percentage so the breasts were twenty dollars which was uh 36 percent of the whole order so taking off the percentage of the eleven dollars anyway you guys don't care about this i'm sure i am the only one that is this nerdy so i took in my weights and what i paid total so these worked out to 416 a pound for the boneless skinless so when gateway has theirs on sale they're usually on for 399 so it's not a hell of a good deal but it's still okay it's still really good and it's really good for well it's amazing for superstore then for the chicken thighs this is where we really save the money so i once again 64 percent of the 11 dollars so the total I spent on chicken thighs was $35.55. Subtract the $7.04 as the percentage of the $11 of the points back. And then I got a total of 25.1 pounds of chicken thighs if I add up the weights on all the packages. So that comes out to $1.14 per pound. So I know a lot of people prefer the boneless skinless for both breasts and thighs, but it is not hard to debone a chicken thigh it's one bone and the skin comes off super super easy so some of these i will debone and use for marinades and some of these i am going to just cook and shred and then of course when you uh, debone them yourself you can save the bones and the skin and you can make amazing chicken broth okay that's it for real this time and hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe. And tomorrow I'm going to do a big freezer cook off or freezer meal cooking. And I will post that video on Friday. Bye now.